Uh, Bronco Nation spotlight on a base interior. Now, obviously, base is where it all starts for the Bronco. The challenge for an automaker like Ford is starting the experience for a new vehicle in a great place. Even if you don't go for any of the bills and whistles of the new Bronco, will you have a good experience while while you're driving it? Base Broncos have a cloth interior and in simple colors. Black onyx, dark space gray. The instrument panel is capped with dark space gray. And the mi mid panel is what Ford calls the sinister black. The interior has been popular with the Bronco Nation forums user. Beating out the wild track digitized camo and the OBX cloth roast interior and the polling that was done by Bronco Nation. Now, the key standard features is that it comes standard with the, uh, the new terrain management system known as TMS with the GOAT modes activated by a dial on the center console. The GOAT modes allow the driver to easily select preset adjusting differentials, powertrain, traction control settings, and more. Sand slippery, sports eco, and normal are included with the modes for base. And a Sync 4 with a wireless Apple CarPlay. That's just awesome. You, you don't have to worry about the wires when you use an Apple CarPlay or plug something in or stopping at a red light or, you know, finagling around with cords. Now, the key options are the Sasquatch package, which includes the 35 inch tires, the 17 inch big lock capable wheels, the built in position sensitive. Monotube shocks, uh, 4.7 final uh, drive ratio, high clearance fender flares, and the front and rear end locking differentials. And then you have that 2.7 EcoBoost V6, uh, though you'll give up the manual transmission for that option, but you get the power. Now standard features for, the, um, I guess, is, are, is the, of uh, course, the four-wheel disc brakes with the anti-lock brake system. And electronic stability control. You got the electronic electric uh, parking brake, 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine. You got the uh, transmission. You got the two door seven speed and the four door ten speed automatic transmission. And then you have the interior, uh, the exterior, the safety and security, and the functional part. And with the exterior, you have the many things as the active grill shutters, which is nice when you're driving. Um, on the highway, they close for aerodynamic purposes. You have the bash plates to protect you when you're going off road and having fun. Uh, the black molded in color uh, top, bumper, uh, the door handles, the fender flares, the grill with the Bronco laddering, configurable daytime running lamps, um, easy fuel, capless fuel filter. Just stop, open up the cap, and pop it in and put the fuel in. Fender tie down hooks, tail lamps, halogen tail lamps. Uh, hard molded top, rear window defroster and washer, storage bags, front row top panels. Um, that's for your uh, panels on the front row top or on the vehicle storage. Uh, soft black cloth, standard tow hooks, of course. And of course, the tires you have the um, 16 inch P255 70R. You have the uh, the rear spare tire carrier. Uh, the full size spare with the uh, tire pressure monitoring systems, uh, 16 inch bright uh, polished silver painted steelies, uh, the crystal wipers, and all of that. And you have the terrier comfort, safety and security, functionality. And again, let's look back at some. Let's look at some of these basic interior picks. Um, this is just a basic cloth interior. It looks pretty sturdy and quite nice. And it looks like it's going to last a long time. Doesn't look shabby at all. Everything looked tightly stitched together. And then you have the dashboard and the steering wheel, which looks quite thick, even though it's not leather. It seems, you know, really nice. Of course, we all like leather, but this is a cool base option. You know, this is just a close look at the GOAT modes and the automatic shifter, which is nice from a top view. When you take the panels off, you... If you're looking down, you see the cup holders, and you see the uh, the infotainment screens. You see the soft buttons up here, 
and everything's just protected and just looks really, really, really nice. Folks, and then we have here the basic model uh, Ford Bronco. And this is just a spotlight on the uh, base interior and what we saw today. And thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. And may you have an awesome day and a terrific day. And say all motor reviews. And this is the spotlight on the base interior by Bronco Nation. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more interesting videos.